Hey guys, welcome to the channel. As always, uh, working on the Ultra 150s again, and uh, they're older machines. This machine doesn't uh, cavitate, and this machine does. What I mean cavitate, it's pulling in air, and when you go to give her, you can hear it kind of revving, 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 and then it takes off. Where this one, you go to give her, and it just takes off. It doesn't spin out, nothing. It doesn't rev. It just goes. It just launches. So the only difference in in what I can see is the design. And this came with a longer chute here. And, uh, and it came with this ride plate on the back, which is pretty good. Uh, I, I don't like the design, so I changed it up a bit. Made my own kind of design um, I went with the longer chute so that's over there same same length except uh, this is gonna be for this one for the blue one and I got the ride plate kind of done like this so here you can see that's what it's just a while the dick on the on the back of the stock. Came out pretty good. Pretty happy with the results. And now it's to putting it back together. So uh, the biggest thing is that researching this online, guys are saying that this has to be perfect. This eyelet has to be siliconed. And basically, I'm now prepping it with this guy. So that guy, I'm going to clean it all up, which I'm not going to bore you here with cleaning this up. Once it's all cleaned up, um, I'm basically going to show you how to silicone it, and uh, we're going to take it out this weekend and see what the results are like. Apparently, if you don't do this right, it will cavitate or pull in air, suck in air while it's... So, I'm going to do it the best I can here and uh, see how it goes. I talked with some guys about plugging these holes and not plugging these holes. My understanding is from Jet Ski with the 1100 ZXIs that what they did was they put these holes in and the jet, the jet drive pushes water out these holes because they weren't very stable, I guess, at high speeds. So, they added these holes for the 1100 ZXI and I guess this kind of pushed into the Ultra 150, the 1200. Whether it needs it or not, some guys say plug the holes with silicone. If there's jet, if there's pressure pushing that water out, I think it's going to push the silicone out. But um, for my purposes, I'm going to leave the holes open and I'm going to silicone around. It's going to be here, 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 and here. Okay, so the next video you'll see this completely cleaned up and uh, how the silicone looks and then we'll slap it on that jet ski. As always guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps out somebody with their Ultra 150 or if they plan to pick one up. They are sweet machines and I usually will sometimes fix them and keep them and then fix them and sell them. And In this case, I plan on fixing and keeping. So. They're fun, they got lots of power, and they're not that bad on fuel, which is my last set of jet skis. They were so hard on fuel, and they were like, one was a Yamaha Wave Runner GP760 Twin, two-stroke. I mean, it was it was an older machine, 97, but, you know, 60, 70 bucks a day to go riding. The other one was a 96 uh, ZXi, what was it, 96? zxi 900 cowie and it was about 65 bucks so it was you know and those machines wouldn't even top out at you know 45 to 50 mile an hour tops on a good day um mainly stock so these babies will hit 60 65 no problem and uh and they're just as fun and not as hard on fuel so anyways thanks for watching i'll be bringing out more videos on these machines and hope it helps somebody out. So take care, guys. Cheers.